hi there and catch me putting some Mod Podge down and <laughs> my... I was gonna wait to start the video after I got this down, but I'm thinking whatever. I don't know. <sighs> I hope it's not blurry for you guys. It's really hard for me to see on the screen. It's not full size. It's a little piece. So, as you could tell, I'm probably you can probably hear my frustration in my voice. I'm getting really frustrated with this. But anyway, I'm mod podging this onto this cardboard. And I believe the cardboard's about four inches by eight inches. Um, I made it a couple pieces this long um, because I want to make a background. Um, this time not with a canvas, but this time with cardboard because not always do we have a can canvas on hand. And I wanted to show you guys how easy it was to make a nice background for your um, ATCs that you want to keep. So I have some uh, <laughs> dictionary paper here and I'm just putting that down and that's what I'm starting off with as my background just because I like the layers and you can see the lines in the paint and I like that look as well. I'm using Mod Podge here, matte medium, the matte, um, <sighs> matte, anyways. So yeah, I like that, and I like the uh, how the, 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 the colors catch pieces and stuff sometimes, and whatever, you know, so sometimes little pieces come out through, but, and there's the odd little buckle in there, which is unique, so that's why I'm putting the paper down. So, I'm done with that now, and I'm just going to... Well, maybe I'll, I'll add one more, just because the edge here is... Just because... There. See, sometimes it's hard to stop. <laughs> okay, now I'm starting to relax a little bit, because I'm having a little bit more fun with it. I'm trying not to worry about the darn... <sighs> video... Uh, I'm having trouble with the quality, and I thought I had it all good where I can move it up and down, but it's, you know, it's not. It's too blurry. So I do have to do the older way that I was doing it. But, and the wonkiness, I'm not sure. I will hope, hope I can figure that out. So I'm hoping it's not going to be wonky, but I think it's from my arms being above what it's focusing on. So it is a 1080, HD 1080p. Um, Logitech video camera, a webcam, and I'm so I don't know. I was watching videos on it, and it's supposed to be, you know, be able to handle like the waves and all that stuff. I'm doing that on purpose at this point. Anyway, so I'm doing this. This is what I wanted to show you guys. This is what I made for you guys last time, and you can see me. Hi guys. Um. And then you can see, but what I'm trying to focus on, and it really sucks that there's reflection, but you, can you see my ATC? And you guys it might recognize this ATC from about a year ago or so when I made it, and I never did get rid of it, and I had it floating around. And so I thought, well, it's about time I put it in the frame. So this is a shadow box frame I got on sale from Michaels. This is that cardboard with the layered uh, paper and then the paints on there. And then I had backing with watercolor paper. I was testing out some um, uh, metallic, uh, whatever it's called, these metallic uh, luster metallics from um, Deco Arts. So I have a few of these, and I was testing it out, and I really um, like how they work. But anyways, besides that, I just wanted to tell you the right product I put on there. So I watercolored and did that, and put my ATC like I've done a year ago on there so it looks good and I like it and it's on cream paper so if you have something like that floating around this is what we can do with it so I'm gonna, that's what I got now it's, a, it's pretty dry so let's see um I do have a little pile of ATCs here that I'm, some of them I'm working on some of them I done and I send off 
I could choose one that I maybe want to keep. I don't know. I like sending them off. But let's look around here. We could. Here's one that um, I think I did for. Did we do this one in the group? Love. See, this focus doesn't look good. This does not look right. This one. Love. I think we might have done this in the group. I'm not sure. That is not. I'm not happy with that. But the videos I have been making, and I actually uh, was almost ready to upload them and even add music to it, and then I look at them in the large screen and they're so blurry. I can't make you guys watch those. So, let's see here. I might just do one of these because I have not kept one of these. I do have quite a few because I was making those um, grunge cards for you guys um, to show you how to do both sides when they were all together. So I think I'll do that one right here. So now I'm just going to choose the colors to kind of match that up, like I chose the other colors to to go with. They're, they're some of them are, are different, but they, they uh, what am I looking for the word? They make the, the picture, the um, focused piece stand out more, I think. So, and that's what I think, so whatever. <laughs> it's good. So, I want to grab some paints. Kind of a rose. I have a yellow. Um, the uh, Cameron, Cadmium yellow. I can't say that word properly. Bright orange. Um, I do have a metallic pearl black, and I'm gonna look actually for a kind of a gold color. This one's copper. So I'm gonna look for a gold color. Have lots of gold. It's not the right one. Gold's one of my favorites. So I'm gonna compare to this one right here, and this one is the splendid gold. So now I'm just gonna pull out the yellow. I don't want the yellow in there, and I'm gonna use these four colors right here to make this pop so I'm just gonna open them up like this I actually see I don't want to take too much more time because now I have to compress the videos again but we'll see what happens Okay, it's not the end of the world if I can't. We'll have to do another one. <laughs> okay, so I have these four colors ready. I'm gonna shake them. I should have been more prepared, but I kind of like um, was getting too frustrated to think ahead, I guess. There is the antique rose. The pearl black, the bright orange, and the splendid gold. So you guys can see that. And I'm just going to use quite the wide brush from the dollar store. And I'm going to start with, let's see, this one here. And I'm just going to go with it. And this is what I did with the other one. I just went and strokes one way and kind of went with it that way I didn't even really clean the brush in between I'm getting in my light and the colors really went well together and I'm gonna add a little bit of gold and I'm hoping that it'll pull a tad of black there. Now it's going to get a little messy, so I'm going to dry it now. And then flip it this way. 
and use my, I do have another brush here too, I mean my water, to rinse out my brush. So I'm not going to dry it too much now. I'm just going to use my other brush and go back in. And I do have way too much water on this brush. Okay. And I'm going to go against the grain of my last batch of painting. And that's what I did. I just kind of did a crisscross look. Um, I don't know, like how you would do like, I don't know, like a weave paint type of thing. And, uh, just did it that way. And it really looked nice. Do a little drying of things so it doesn't get mucky. Okay, and now I'm gonna go the other way again. You can see how it's catching the paper. I like that a lot. So I'm going to change my brush again because this one's getting dark. And you can do it anyway. This is kind of how I liked it, and I'm just using up all the paint now and spinning it around. But now it's going to look really cool with the with this one in the background. See, it matches pretty nice. Then I'm going to put something else, another mat, to contrast that. So I'm going to dry it up, and that. Really, it isn't it pretty? You can see the gold in there, and I don't even have to add anything else on to it. So I don't let's want do that it. just to see how that goes because there is red in there, and it might be just the right contrast of a little bit of a different red. So we can try that. Here's the gold one, here's the red. So, what you do with this is you just kind of put a little bit of it in there and you let it dry for a bit, heat tool up to dry it so it works. Um, and then you just kind of buff it after. So I don't know how it's going to work. The contrasting color. We'll try it. It's not really contrasting, it's blending in. It's just a little bit of a different red. So I don't know. Not sure. It might be a little too red, but I could also go with the gold over top and see. Just playing and showing you guys what I did with the other one. The other one is just totally different colors and very, um, I love the blue in there, but this card doesn't really have, it does have the gray, black, kind of the, the color of the metal pearl that I put in there. So you don't want to go too far off what you have, but hey, who knows? It might just be really cool if you went crazy with that. I don't know. But I'm just telling what I did. So. so that's pretty much it right there. And you should let that dry for a few minutes. I'm just going to put a little bit of the heat tool on there. I love it. I love the way it looks. So you just kind of buff it up. It doesn't do anything to heat process to it so I imagine if you overheat maybe but look at it isn't that pretty gives a nice border I like it um, I still have edging on here that I can cut off um, from my paper that I probably should have done but that's okay not very much though I was pretty um, direct 
pretty straight on it, just a little bit at the end here. Maybe a little crooked on the board there, but I don't know. Maybe. I think I am just a tad. And it does show a bit. There. But that is it. And I can still see the paper through it, and that looks really cool. So this is my piece. Now, because this one has the the brass pieces in it, I'm going to have to have it off. So I'm going to have to put it up on the sticky thingies, the squares, if I can find those. And that can go on there. So, where did I put them? Well, I don't know. Okay, so I was thinking of this. I do have extra cards here. Maybe that can be like a little bit of a contrasting background. Like that, maybe. I don't know. I decided to go with the lace on here. Um, I did just tack the ends down with ta um, tacky, Aileen's tacky glue. So this is how it's looking so far. Oops. Touching my cord. It's pr it is pretty. I don't know. I like the lace and I took it off and then I put it back on. I'm like, no, I like it. So I don't know if you guys can see this. This looks like it's blurry. <sighs> looks very blurry to me. Not really fun. So this is what it's looking like. So I did find something to put in the back. I got this from Zola a long time ago. Um, it is paper. Um, oh dear, my mind just went blank. Oh my goodness. My mind just went blank. <laughs> it's, you know the paper that blind people use to read? I just went blank. I can't believe this. Anyways, I am sorry guys. It's probably because of this video that's driving me nutty. So I decided to paint it to gold, and I used the splendid gold, um, as well as I did a little cr kind of um, cross the way I painted the other paints over there with the coppery color. But it wasn't sticking out well enough, even though I did put a little bit of black and I did stamp with the little flip flop here. Um, black on it as you can see probably you see the spots all over but I added some green to my my glass and then I just painted that on to the edge and I kind of bent it up so it would look like kind of bent metal and I like that so that's what I put in the center there so it's kind of contrasting the gold but it's metallic still and then I just put my card on top of there like that so I like it um, I was playing with fibers that were here left on the side from something else, and I thought, well, that's cute too, you know, I throw some fibers on, and, but I kind of just like this, and then I put um, some of this tape, kind of like a two-sided tape on here, 
I might have to glue them down with glue sticks because <laughs> it wasn't very tacky anymore, but that's what happens when you buy something secondhand store. I bought the tape at secondhand store. So I'm just gonna put some glue stick on this and get it down on here. On the I cannot believe it's left me. I know what it's called. I know what it is. This happens quite often. I don't know what's wrong with me <laughs> when I'm videoing. I'm sorry, guys. Anyways, so I know what it is. I know. I'm going to put tacky glue, probably, on here. I think it's just being so stressed out about the video to be honest with you that it's not working for me and I had to delete a couple of videos I made already for you guys because they were too blurry. I think it's just the stress of it's driving me nutty. Oh well, I will manage to get it sooner or later. So I put that up there so then I had to put two layers like I said so then it was up because of the um, things here. Brain's not working language is not working words are not coming out and I'm just gonna kind of look at it and grab my measuring on my ruler <laughs> and that's about it for that and that's So, so that's about it right there. So I'm gonna tack it down. Kinda had it all right. Flies, the little what's those called? Cora fruit flies driving me crazy. So that's about it, and that's how I did it. I kind of measured it and, and centered it by that, and this is my complete piece. So putting in the glass um, frame like this one here, you'll see the camera. It'll look be inside the shadow box, but it'll look like quite a bit like that. So it'll be really cute. So if you have your ATCs and you want to put them out there, that's a great idea is to um, you know put a little cardboard, put some layers. I don't know. Maybe I can add some fibers. Still, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking maybe. I don't know. Might be too much. But, just play. Um, hey guys, I know I said bye and all that stuff like I usually do. And, hmm, if you notice, my piece is more, um, again, altered than, oh, hit the cord, than before. Blurry. <sighs> I'm getting frustrated. Anyways, um, and I sprayed more. I was just looking too plain for me, so I sprayed more stuff. Added it's just added this leaf and added some stenciling of stuff. <laughs> and yeah, added more. Like I said, spray. So I added a. The orange here, Mister, as well as a little bit of blue. Do I have a blue there? So as well as the blue here. So 
I got more messy and stuff and I actually like it better. It was looking just too plain and too not my style. And I think I got just right now. So, I hope it's still... Hello friends, I added a little bow. Made a quick little bow with my bow jig. Um, because I was trying to do it without just tying it in knots here with the seam binding. This is just like a cotton seam binding. And I was making it look too messy, so I grabbed my bow jig and I just put it on my setting right here, which is, I don't know. I can't remember. I think I used the same measurements that the Frugal Crafter was, um, that's where I got the design from. Um, I got a friend to make for me. So she, if you look at her bow jig videos, she's got that measurements on there if you want to make your own. But anyways, so I did make a bow with the seam binding and added to it too. And I, I recall, I looked up and I'm like, oh yeah, I dyed some seam binding orangey colors. Whatever. This color. And because this little girl has the dress tied up with the bow in the back, which you can't see really, I decided to do that. I actually don't have the bows quite there. Anyway, so I thought that was really cute because the little girl has those older frilly bows and she's even got a bow in her hat there. In this, I don't know if you can see it. See, you can see the bow in the hat. But you can also see that there's a bow behind her dress in the back. So that is it. Done now. So I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to craft like a duck. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs> so I guess I didn't tell you what I added all on here. But <laughs> I'm going crazy. I am totally losing it. Um, but I did add more paints and more glimmer paints here at this as well in the orange and in the blue and then I did black um, stencil this just to match the dots that were oh a mosquito just landed on my hand just to match the dots that were in here so and that's what I did for around and I found this nice little leaf and because she's holding some plant life in that picture there I decided that leaf already had a little spot of orange on it so I thought well it's going in <laughs> so there you go talk to you guys later bye bye